The first project I'm opening here is created in iBooks Author. It's down in the bottom right hand corner there and you can see it opens up with a nice hardback cover. But once we're inside iBooks Author presentation it's more of a slide deck show rather than the page turn effect you normally get with a nice iBooks bespoke EPUB. Each page is represented as a single full page screen. Animation is possible, but it's not obvious that a page can be animated because all animations appear in a separate pop-up Safari type window like that. So you can't, within iBooks Author, create dynamic animation that appears on a page as it's loaded. For things like children's book, this is less obvious because smaller fingers aren't going to understand that they need to press that cross in the top left hand corner to close the animation and go back to the book. Up in the title bar there you'll see there's no read aloud which you don't get with iBooks author and also pinching doesn't zoom in statically to the text it just gives you a bounce effect unlike a bespoke EPUB. Finally, there's no nice index through to the different pages that you get with an EPUB that I'll show you shortly when we open that project. One of the cool effects you can have is to add notes to text, as I'm showing here, although one could argue with a children's book how much use that actually is. And there we go, calling up that note again. And firing off that animation, which brings a blank screen and then the pop up in the new window. The animations can be scripted uh, using software like Adobe Animate Edge. And that's a brief overview of an iBook author creation. This next version of the book is a fixed layout EPUB conforming to Apple's asset guides. Here you can see it shows read aloud capabilities and down the bottom you have a nice index of the pages so you can jump wherever you want. There's more of a page turn effect on this and you get a spine of the book down the right hand side so you get a real feeling that you're actually looking at a book here. Also, you'll notice on this page that we have some subtle animation that's already playing as the pages are loaded. The wiggling of the moustache, the nodding of the head. Just gentle animation there to engage the reader. Or we can do something more dramatic and load background scenery and pulse the objects which require the user to interact. There you can see the comet flying across the screen. The other advantage is you can double tap to get a two page spread or you can zoom in using pinch as you would normally do on photos or text in the iPad. page turn effect takes you back in the book there's the double page spread once more animations happen across both pages it's possible to interact with the pictures a simple touch makes the man jump You can go to an index which uh, on the EPUB version gives you a nice layout spread of the different pages. There's no note capability in the EPUB version, or at least none that I've found. And that concludes the differences between the fixed layout EPUB written bespoke and iBooks author.